here we are again. This room is really echoey, so sorry about the acoustics. I don't have a lot of furniture. I just started setting this room up as my office. But I wanted to review with you guys this new vacuum cleaner I got. It's the Miele Complete C3 Limited Edition Vacuum Cleaner. Vacuum Cleaner. Vacuum Cleaner. about your colors and and that you want it to match your house or whatnot I get it but this is a uh, racing green it's called and I like it I think it's a nice color doesn't match really my house but whatever <laughs> if it works and it cleans it's not bad so let's open this other box and the hose I said this I a little scratch up, but okay. Let's see, this is one part. This is the hose, and it's adjustable to get to the hard to reach places. And then this one, I guess, is for, this one is the head for the rugs. It has a little brush under here. I do not have a lot of carpet in my house. Actually, I don't have any carpet in my house. I have wood floor, some tile, and I do have very low pile rugs, little rugs, or a big one, but it's still, it's not very uh, long, the pile, as they call it. So I'm assuming this is the one for the floor and tile, wood floor and tile. It does not have the rotating brush, so that's why I'm assuming it's that. So let's see. I should read the instructions, right? Hold on. All right. If it doesn't have pictures, I'm, I'll do more my common sense thing. Okay. Let's see where I go wrong. Okay, so I'm assuming Let's turn this thing on. Assuming you put this in here. Push the sides. Okay, I see. Oh, wait. Ooh! This is cool. Okay, I'm pretty silly, sorry. Love that you can just put them back here and snap this right back into place. I really, really like that. Also, let me show you guys. This is the size of it, so it's not too big. This is the area where you clip on the, the long part of the vacuum so you just don't leave it laying around and it slides off everywhere. But I'm gonna set this aside. I'm setting that aside for one moment because I wanna show you guys. What I like about the bottom of this vacuum cleaner is the fact that it has a rotating little tire here and then the bottom ones also rotate so it's really easy when you're pulling it around let's see how this retractable 
cord goes. Let's see. Whoa. Oh, okay. That was intense and super fast. All right. Now let's give this little bad boy a test drive. Okay, I just plugged it in. Let's pull this out from here. Pull it out. I need to pull this longer. I'm tall. So you press the button in the back and you can pull it as long as you want. Let's turn it on and see how loud it is. So far, I give it a thumbs up. Uh, I'm going to show you guys now the different the different pressures that it has. It's pretty interesting. It has. I'm going to show you guys. These are the intensity levels right here of the machine. So when I press it and I turn it on. down a little bit to carpet, I assume, a bit more quiet, more quiet, I guess that's for the little rug, for furniture, and then the softest intensity would be, I guess, curtains. I'm going to do a little test. I'm going to go ahead and put on this powder, this Glade powder, on the rug to see how good it works. So let's see. I'm going to pour this over here. A little rug. When it's hardwood, this little brush pops up, a little brush that goes around it, and when it's carpet, it sinks in. It's no longer there. So let's try this carpet. <coughs> this smells really strong. Let's turn this on. In short, I did like the Miele Complete C3 limited edition vacuum. This is just the beginning. I know I have not vacuumed my whole entire house, but I have what I did like from it. It did feel pretty powerful. It has all the complete tools that I would need or that I would use on a regular basis. We did purchase this vacuum not from the original website, but I will link it below. We paid a little under $500 for it, and I know that's pretty expensive, but this model, the C3 model, is exactly what I need for my house. I can show you guys. This is one of the little heads. We have this one, then the trusty brush, which is already gross because I just used it. I should have cleaned them, it's pretty gross. But this is the brush. I like that you can, even from here, twist it like this. So it's adjustable, I like that. I like options, what can I say? And then you can put it away. Back into where it came from. I really wanna get into those blinds and the curtains and all that weird. OCD stuff that I really like having things clean and organized, but so far I like the size. It's not too heavy. It rotates really well. I like that it spins and that you can have a lot of control over it and that it's easy to store. Overall, first impression review, it's good. I like it. Thanks guys for watching. See you soon. Bye.